The Congress has been relegated to third spot in both states. It lost another two states, Maharashtra, where it was in government for 15 years, and Haryana, where it ruled for a decade. Nine party ministers also lost in Haryana. Congress hit by a political storm even as Rahul Gandhi visited cyclone-hit areas of Vishakhapatnam. BJP moved a step closer towards their political goal of a Congress Mukt Bharat by ending Congress rule in Maharashtra and Haryana. Except Karnataka in the past couple of years, Congress has lost crucial states like Rajasthan, Delhi, Andhra Pradesh and the newly created Telangana. The latest round of results forced Congress's top leadership to reach out to their supporters. In a statement, Rahul Gandhi said, I congratulate the BJP on their success. I thank our supporters for having stood by us and party workers for their commitment to the party. The Congress party will work hard on the ground to once again earn the confidence of the people. Sonia Gandhi too promised to play a vigilant role. But Congress's numbers don't add up for the party to be an effective opposition. In Maharashtra, the party struggled for the third place, just getting one more seat than their former ally, the NCP. In Haryana, Congress barely managed to cross double digit, a repeat of the rout the party faced in states like Rajasthan, Delhi and Andhra Pradesh. That's led to a constant questioning of Rahul Gandhi's leadership. Different parties and different leaders have their own styles. They will uh, find their moment at different times. And so that's really what we're waiting for as well. You know, when the BJP were down to two seats, we didn't say we had a BJP Mukh Bharat. <laughs> you know, in the same way, there's no chance whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So please, uh, the BJP needs to get in, to get in tune with reality. Congress's worst Lok Sabha performance forced the top leadership to talk about revamping the grand old party in May. Five months later, changes are yet to happen and time seems to be running out. In New Delhi, Sandeep Pukan, NDTV.